Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today I have a short video for you guys discussing the upcoming week of content for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. There's a new blog post out, which I'll put a link to that down in the description, which gives us an idea of what's going to be coming to the game over the course of the next week, though I have to say it's going to be a rather slow week in terms of updates and new content, but we are getting a couple of new things, I wanted to discuss them here in today's video. The first bit of content is going to be a new gunfight map, it's going to be coming out tomorrow on February 25th. The map is going to be called Bizarre, and what's bizarre about Bizarre is we saw it during the Season 2 trailer, and it was also on the Season 2 roadmap as Day 1 content, right? If we look at the official roadmap here, we see Bizarre listed as Day 1 content along with Rust in the gunfight section, but when Season 2 went live, the only gunfight map that was added was, of course, Rust. I have to wonder if this is because of balancing or spawning issues. Maybe Infinity War decided to take a few weeks to refine the map before pushing it out to the public, but Either way, it's going to be coming out tomorrow on all platforms, and of course, it will be free for everybody. Now, in addition to this, there's going to be a new ground war mode called Infantry Ground War coming this week, which will basically be ground war, but with no tanks whatsoever. In the official blog post, they say that only small vehicles are going to be allowed, and the accompanying image shows us an ATV, so one would assume ATVs are going to be the only vehicles available within this mode, so if you like ground war, but you hate dying to tanks all the time, this may just be the playlist for you. Now, last but not least, we're going to be getting yet another double XP weekend. It's going to be running from Friday, February 28th, all the way until Monday, March 2nd. So if you're like me and you're still working towards level 155, this is yet another chance for you to get ahead in levels and therefore unlock new officer rank challenges and hopefully complete those officer rank challenges. Now, during season zero and season one, I don't know if people actually know this, I never once made it up to 155 and I barely touched the officer challenges. But here in season two, I'm enjoying the game a lot more with the new maps, the new modes, the new weapons, and of course the perk rebalancing, and even though the reward at the end of the journey for completing all of the officer rank challenges is just an animated emblem, I'm still having a lot of fun playing to complete these challenges. Like when I hop on, that's basically all I do is I work towards these officer rank challenges. I feel like they really miss the mark though when it comes to these, right? Because they basically got rid of the entire prestige system for this system. And even though, again, we only get an animated emblem, it's still cool to have seasonal challenges that offer us seasonal rewards. So why couldn't they simply just go back, give us an old school prestige system, and then every season give us 100 challenges that we have to go through. And if you complete those challenges, you get seasonal rewards. Hopefully something better than just an animated emblem. That's just an idea. I feel as though it makes so much sense. And given the fact that the game game keeps track of your career level as compared to just your seasonal level, that means that if they were to add a prestige system, they could very easily retroactively go back and just apply all the levels you've already gained into that prestige system, but time will tell, I suppose. I mean, crazier things have happened. Look what happened back with Call of Duty World War II when they decided to revamp basically the entire multiplayer based on community feedback. I suppose the same is true here for Modern Warfare. It's entirely possible that a prestige system could come to the game at some point, though I think it's pretty freaking unlikely, and unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much does it for this week's Modern Warfare content, though keep in mind, we're still at the very beginning of Season 2. According to the roadmap, we still have another 6v6 multiplayer map coming down the pipeline. We have Infected Ground War, Demolition, as well as a bunch of other game modes, and we even have new operators, and what I feel as though looks like a new submachine gun, but other people are saying this looks like a shotgun. I'm not really sure. What do you guys think? But a new gun is going to be coming to the game as well. Season 2 is set to end in 42 days on April 5th, and as always, I will do my best to keep you guys posted with any and all Modern Warfare news as we progress through Season 2 and get closer to Season 3. But for right now, that's going to wrap up today's short little update video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please drop me a rating. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.